Hello, Babbit. We are um making a ooh. I'm also streaming on Bigo. I don't know if you ever heard of it, but it is the most ratchet streaming app I've ever come across in my life. I <laughs> so I, I don't know why, but we're we're trying it out. Um while we do the other simultaneously. I might regret this. Uh what's going on? So, um, we're making music in Band Lab today. Last time we were making music in Soundtrap. And um, if you can see behind me the screen, y'all can't see it. Oh, look at all these notifications. I don't know what that is. <laughs> you sent me lightning. Y'all go check this Pico app out. Anyway, um, let's go back to Band Lab. Let's go over here. So, this is what the interface looks like at um, the onset when you when you log in. Of course, you know, I only have seven followers. I'm following 21 people. This is how many times people have played my songs. I got my projects over here, and I got um, who I'm following. It's like a feed, just like any other social media. Here's an example of some stuff that, uh, like, someone I follow has. It, you know, and some of it's pretty good. Some of it's, eh. You know, but here's, here's just an example. <laughs> So that was cool. Like, you know, I like that chick. She has lots of good, weird stuff that comes out, that she puts out. Um, but let's go up here to create. And, and let's create something. Hi. Hi, Hagatha. Hi, wifey. <laughs> I'm multitasking. Ooh. Um, juice. So, I guess y'all need to see. Let me show the Beagle folks what this is. Okay. So, you got, um, this is my setup, by the way. It's pretty, pretty ratchet. It goes with the app. Uh, yeah. This is what you look at when you open a new track, when you start a new track. And y'all, unfortunately, will have to get on Twitch to see the rest of it. Sorry. Um, but, uh, you can pick any one of these. Instrument, voice, drum machine, guitar, sampler, bass. Uh, very similar to Soundtrap in that sense. But... Um, to start off, I'm just going to X out of this, and you'll get a basic idea of what a blank project looks like. Um, here's the other thing about BandLab, like Soundtrap, you can invite people and collab with them. Um, so it is very much a social media tool. It's just like, sorry, sorry Beagle folks. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think I screwed up. I hit the button. Uh, house around, input video. Oh shit. I pushed a button on my thing and now that's no, that's fine. I don't need to hear out of this anyway, but oh there we go. Okay. Oops. So we're um we got our blank screen in our, our blank interface to start a song. So if you've used Soundtrap before, if you use GarageBand before, you'll you're gonna be familiar with this. Um but to start with some loops, which is probably the easiest thing to do, let's go to Band Lab sounds down here at the bottom. Now the Band Lab computer PC interface is completely different from their app interface. Unlike um, Soundtrap, where the the app and the the website are very similar, so there are different thing different features that are available on on the app that aren't available on the website, and vice versa. And the, and the layouts a lot different. I mean, the colors and the, and the scheme of everything is basically the same, but in general, there's a lot of differences. So, um, yeah. So anyway, um, let's let's get into the sample. So you click down here on the very bottom right on BandLab Sounds, which you probably can't see because my dumb face is in the way, but that's where it is. Let's go over here. Let's move my dumb face. <laughs> Yo, what up, Roscoe Cat? Why are you still awake? You need to go to bed. <laughs> What's up, G? Um, so yeah, I moved my, I moved my shit out of the way so we could see, let's see, go close this, what the hell? Ah, uh, hey, hey, I've been called worse on here. 
Yeah, I've been called all kinds of MILF and everything, but that's because my my core audience is 12 years old, so I don't take I don't take no offense to it. Hey Roscoe Cat, have you ever been, ever been on uh, Bego Live? Have you ever heard of it? Yeah, I feel you on that. That's that's uh, that's typical for me. Yeah, most people have. It. You should check it out because it's like it's like the plenty of fish of um, uh, streaming apps, I guess. It's like it's like uh, I think some like Japanese high schoolers made it. I've said that before on here too. Yeah, it's it's horrible. I'm t my multitasking though. I'm on this too at the same time, so they can't see what I'm doing. So hopefully they'll go over to Twitch tv slash toy to show and check it out wait type what the the name of the app <laughs> uh-uh i'm gonna i'm not gonna well i'll type it i guess gosh it's bigo b-i-g-o and it's it's on your uh <laughs> the name <laughs> yeah your drug uh anyway it's ratchet as hell <laughs> what's what's up bigo is anyone listening to me my name is Sha. Uh, they sent a crown. Right on. So anyway, let's get into the, the samples. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty entertaining. You check it out. Um, I say this is the plenty of fish. That's pretty good. I'm gonna remember that. All right. So when you're in the samples deal, you, you can search by instrument. You can search by genre, genre, or you can type in a keyword that you know maybe you got something in mind that's not in one of these categories. But similar to Soundtrap, it's got a lot of samples. You can choose from a lot of things. Um, if we're going to start off making a beat and we're using samples, I say we start off with hi-hat. Why not, right? So what kind of music are we making? We've got hi-hats. We want to make like EDM. Troyo, Troyo, Trovo? I know I've heard of that. I thought that was like a travel website. I don't know. There's I'm on D Live. Like not many people have heard of D Live. What, what what's up D Live? The only thing about D Live that kind of scares me is I've heard that it's like a hub for alt right people, but I've like talked to plenty of people on there that are not that for sure. Like people in Russia and Turkey, so I'm not that worried about it. Um, they can't they can't have everything, you know. The alt right people. <laughs> They can have Pepe the Frog, that's fine, but that's it. That's all they get. Shoyo Live. Okay. Yeah, I've heard of it. I've never been on it. I mean, I pretty much get on everything just because I figure, like, I see people making money on things just doing nothing, like, kind of like I'm doing. And I figure if I roll the dice, you know, right, uh, <laughs> someone might send me some money. Yeah, right. I don't know. I'm not really sure. I've even uh, this is the internet. I'm not gonna put into permanence all the thoughts I've had, but you know, jerker to kick woo. I don't know what that is. <laughs> jerker to kick woo, y'all. So, um, here we got. Uh, let's do let's do hip hop trap because that's what you know. I can try to skirt around it all I want, but when it comes down to it. That's what I listen to, so let's see grit bloom hat. Let's see how that sounds. I don't like it. Oh oh so that nonsense yeah, yeah, yeah. I really need to just stream straight to Twitch most of the time because anyway, I, I'm sure it was a cool emote, I'm sorry. <laughs> Some people like in my computer, that's the other thing, my computer is not that powerful. So what I'm doing right now is like maxing out what it can do. Um, if I put like an animated overlay or a, uh, some kind of crazy backdrop, I'm trying, man. Um, but if I'm, um, you know, if I do anything fancy, more or less, besides just like, you know, do, using Serato and using OBS and using Twitch or whatever, then my computer is just like, ah. And so I. Maybe Santa will bring me a new computer. We'll see. Lord knows I've been a good girl. Lex Luger. Okay, this so like just like Soundtrap, you can actually find producers, artists. You can't search by producer um, or artist like you can in Soundtrap. 
um, even unless that person is always already in there, but they do have several featured producers like Tasha Couture, Lex Luger, um, 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 Prince, Prince, what's his name? Prince Ali. I think that, I don't, I don't think that's right. Uh, uh, the guy that was in the, the, that was the DJ for, uh, NWA. Yeah. Ar Arabian Prince. Yeah, he's on there, so Pro Crack, um, and other people that are like EDM famous. So you just gotta play around. Okay, these are some Pro Crack, Pro Crack hats. So I'm gonna throw those in there. Bloop. And be live if you want to see what I'm doing, because I can't multitask that much. You can go to Twitch.tv/slash Troy to show. Um, but here we go. So we got our hats in there. What comes next after hats? Kids, it's snare. That's right. So let's go ahead and type in snare in the search bar because I don't think, let's just remove that. Oh, you can search by snare. All right, never mind. Let's take, take it out of search and just click on snare under the same category. And I'm, the, this BPM is 190. It's pretty high. So let's find something similar. Otherwise, it's going to sound stupid. Let's see, 911. Cool. Snare. That's hella ugly. <laughs> you never know with the snare. You, like, it'll sound bad until you, like, mix it with everything. But seldom do I start with the snare. Just using samples, you pretty much know things are more or less going to fit on a, on a doll like this one. Deedly, 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 deedly. Wonky March snare. Okay, that's pretty, pretty whack. Um, not many that are that high of a BPM. Yeah, I think it was called, the, hence the title, Wonky. You can find, there's a whole, yeah, I don't like that either. Some of that trap stuff is getting pretty played out, like, the, like, really, you know, fast pitch, um, back to back, like, you heard that in every song from, like, 2017 till now, just like, uh, like, come on, try something else. I feel like a new, like the new sound of hip hop or whatever is going to be returning back to like really simple boom bap, because when you hear it now, it sounds so refreshing compared to that like doing way too much trap, with almost like the the UK like, um, not grime but like drill almost. It's just like limited to what you can do with it, so. Um, in my opinion. Alright, let's see. Oh, there's one that's 170. I'm about to go with it because I'm tired of searching. I saw it. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. I already heard that one. Damn it. Jungle Fusion? <laughs> what does Jungle Fusion even sound like? I kind of like that. It's really loud, but it doesn't have to be loud, so... All right, now now you got me wanting to look up what the hell jungle fusion is. Excuse me, I'm a little ill. I do not have COVID. Don't even start. <laughs> um, yes, I was tested. Jungle fusion bangles. It's an in-home bangle cattery located in New York. <laughs> Jungle Fusion is an original electrifying fusion band with deep ethno roots. Like that Sean Paul get Oh, I love that I love that era of Sean Paul. Get Busy is a great song. It's a great song. I don't care what anybody says. Like like the the melody on it is great and everything. If I ever play that song, you know that I'm feeling ballsy because that song will get my shit blocked. Because of the the copyright on it, will get it'll get blocked. Like I'm playing like a Jay Z song or something, or a Drake song, which I don't have to worry about because I don't play any freaking Drake. Um, <laughs> I don't know why that shit makes people so mad. I'll say like I don't really like Drake. And they're like, 
well, you just don't understand hip hop. <laughs> like, well, um, actually, mm, it morphed a lot with him, but it was everywhere. I almost felt like that was like reggaeton or like a, um, yeah, like dance hall meets. I I wouldn't say that was jungle fusion because I think I mean I grew up, I grew up in the nineties, and the jungle was like more like this. Like, hold on. I know where I know what to look for. Thank you. I did not know my mic was muted and I do care. Thank you very much. It just did that like on its own. I didn't even crazy OBS. All right. Anywho, let's uh let's see how this sounds here. It's a little loud like I said. We can turn it down. I really you really correcting your your it's okay. It's like, I can't, <laughs> usually when I'm like, you know, actually mixing or whatever, and someone's like trying to talk to me, I'll be typing. And a lot of times I'll have these stupid fake nails on. And that's like right now I, I don't. And that's the whole other story why I have these gloves on, but don't, don't worry about it. I just got out of surgery. But, um, <laughs> uh, I'll be typing stuff that like, even I, I don't know. Normally I'm really hardcore about like spelling grammar and all that but it's just like nonsense when i'm typing in here so don't worry about it there's some weird like gatekeeping going on for like spelling errors in the in the youth these days they're like they're very um aggressive about it like if you say anything about their spelling or their grammar it's not that you get called a grammar nazi it's that they just like just tear you down like you're being a karen or whatever that's never happened to me, but I've seen it happen. 
All right, so we got our snare, we got our hats. What comes next, kids? Kick. That's right. Good job. So here we have 190 BPM. Let's try the 911 coup kick. That's not what I. That's not what I had in mind. Of course, you could make your own kick, but we're sort of pressed for time, I guess you could say, but not really. The, well, I don't know why they name half these things the way they, what they name them. Um, Pro Crack, well, that's a producer. Um, <laughs> why is his name Pro Crack? Uh, maybe he's Pro Crack. I don't know. Wonky because it's wonky. Cassette Trap. Uh, skateboards and Stars. It's like, you know, I was always wondering, like, who gets to name the the filters for like Instagram and stuff, like, or like nail polish colors, you know, like some of that shit seems so arbitrary, like Luxor, um, Cambria. <laughs> some of the nail polish colors are outlandish, like I killed the waitress. <laughs> like, is this your fork? I'm serious. Those aren't real exact names of nail polishes, but they're their parodies of they're very similar so some of these like yeah they all sound like emo bands you could say nail polish color is the name of an emo band i'm really confused about what emo music is nowadays like i know i know what it was when i was like a child and i feel like it ended somewhere in there and for some reason, there's still emo, like an emo scene. Because this girl I used to work with not long ago, who was a lot younger than me, was all into the emo scene. And I don't know, I don't know what that is. I don't know what it consists of anymore. If they listen to the Cure or if there's some new groups or what. It was like Panic at the Disco. She also listened to, um, and I think it was just like she just wanted attention by trying to like get the most obscure music genre that anyone listens to and just go with that because she was that kind of person um what did she call that glitch or something it was like glitch grunge like for real uh, she'd be like i went to a glitch grunge show the other night and tomorrow we're going to this emo concert and i was like no you're not <laughs> that's not real all right so we're looking we're looking for a kick we're looking for a kick no, I don't want that wonky kick. I don't want that. You could give, you could even go outside your comfort zone and go into another. Let's try a drill one. Yeah, I listen to everything too. I don't, I don't listen to country because I'm like that. I'm one of those people. But I listen to like classical. I listen to rock. I don't think it's the rap rock. I think what you're thinking of maybe like XXX Tentacion. Is that what you're thinking of? Or like Lil Peep? I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so. Because I like some of that, honestly. And I'm pretty sure whatever it is that this girl listened to, I did not like. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like the sad boy rappers. Like. Okay, so you're 35. Let me ask you this. Have you ever heard of Cat Boys? Cat Boys, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going with the Pro Crack Kick Loop. I said I'm going with the Pro Crack Kick Loop. There we go. Cat Boys are boys that dress like cats. And I think it's a sexual thing that goes along with it. And I think it's also music they listen to. But... It's a whole, like, if you recall when we were a bit younger, um, the bronies was a thing. And that's not even, like, seen as, there's still bronies, to be sure. I mean, they're, they're, I'm not saying they're on the outskirts of the internet fetishdom, but they, the, some of the stuff that these kids, <laughs> some of the stuff that these kids are into and I'm saying kids like 11 12 years old and I know this because my daughter who is almost 14 clues me in on a lot of stuff because we have that kind of relationship and, and my stepdaughter as well it's like 
the, the some of the stuff that they're into is like way too sexual for their their age group and also it's weird as heck <laughs> like this the future generation is gonna like there's gonna be like a furry president and a brony in the house of representatives and they're gonna dress like that every day and everyone's gonna have to accept it i i guess that's a good thing yeah. get off my lawn be bronies and furries <laughs> my lawn is covered with bronies and furries get out of here all right let's see what it sounds like It sounds awful. I hate it. I hate it. Get this kick out of here. Delete. I saw that. I saw the difference. But the animal, the, the, the mask or whatever that they wear is like, it's so they don't see the person. And then at the end, and it makes it sound like it's like, a, oh, we're trying to be like, you know, unshallow, like we're, we're trying to like get you to see the real person behind the mask before you actually see behind the mask, like you get to know their personality. But then at the end, they take the mask off and it's like, Ugh, ugly or, oh, she's hot. Phew. <laughs> and it just does the exact opposite of what I think they're trying to do, which is horrible. It's like very shallow and like you can't market a show about beauties on the inside to kids that grew up with Kylie Jenner you just can't so nice try whoever put that on I'm guessing it was like MTV or something does MTV still play music I doubt it get off my lawn I'm just gonna say that whenever I sound old the effects on kids will have real let me get to it Real world implicate. Well, I think it already is. I don't know. What is this link here? Is this going to give me a virus? Hey, I, I don't think I will. <laughs> I ban. I don't, I'm not moderating. Why would you, why would you do that, sir? Dominic 2009. Is that when you were born? That would make you 12. Yeah. Dominic. You're 12 years old. You need to go to bed. Okay? It is way too late. I don't care what part of the world you're in. Stop it. Okay, Dominic, 2009, you're a bot. You're just a bot. You'll never be a human. You'll never have feelings. You're just a lousy bot. We could delete you, and we wouldn't think twice about it, because you don't matter. Get out of here. That's how I ban people. <laughs> I shame them. <laughs> Let me tell you, I don't know if you were, were you on, I don't know if you were on here, I was, uh, I was streaming and there was some kid who ended up being actually 12 years old, and I don't think they're even allowed on Twitch at 12, but anyway, he's like, typed in, you know, whatever his name was, tipped you $500, I'm like, okay, like, totally suspicious, and then he's like, take your top off, you were there? I'm asking, it's a question, I'm sorry, I can't keep track, track. Were you there? I'm sorry if you were. <sighs> Not in person. Do you remember some some kid? <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Thanks. I, I would have a better idea of it if uh, restream was in any way accurate about like the count because right now it's showing there's zero people. Uh, but do you have do you do you do shows on Twitch? Yeah, I usually am. I don't mean, I mean, I know there's DJs that like, I know they probably have like, I, I do set up hotkeys where I can turn my mic off and on, but it's like, I'd have to have to the set up where I would turn the music off and then turn the mic on at the same time. And I think the best way to do that is just to get like a little external, like a switcher or something, because it's a hassle the way it's set up. Yeah, uh, but not on Twitch. Yeah, that's cool. I was thinking about streaming some like old, old ass games if I can find any online or on Steam like um, my dad used to have an Amiga Commodore so we're talking like really old games oh okay I got you um, but yeah or like if, if you, have you ever heard of an Intellivision alright I'll, I'll make a note of that I'll look you up <laughs> Doug Fogley 
That's a funny name. Um, we ever heard of an Intellivision? Like, uh, it was around, like, before Atari. You, you're probably too young, maybe, by about five years. Uh, let's try the Snowfall Kick. You have an Intellivision? Shut up. Shut up. What? I don't know what a Lynx is, but it sounds familiar. <laughs> is a Lynx is a computer? Or is it a, a console? Okay, your older brother, who's probably my age. That's cool. <laughs> a handheld. A Lynx. Okay. That probably came out after the Intellivision. But that's nuts. You have an Intellivision. Wow. So what games do you have? Do you have Burger Time? Yeah, I'm, I'm 40. That's cool. <laughs> Tell your brother I said what up. <sighs> my favorite game on there was Burger Time. Uh, Mike Tyson Boxing. Um... can't even remember jeopardy oh uh, like yes okay so the, the thing about the intellivision for the uninformed is it had two remotes the whole thing looks like a big like it's wood paneled freaking like picture like an old school nintendo but the 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 controllers like clamp into the console and they don't they're wired but they have like these spiral telephone cords so you can go about like four feet with them most at most and when you change games it looks like a dial pad like on a on a old cell phone like big old clicky buttons you take a little thin piece of cellulose whatever like plastic and you slide it in and the cover will like make the buttons do different things like according to the game I don't know if I'm explaining this good but like so when you put the little slidey piece of paper over it when you click on that then you B-17 Bomber! Yes! I just the sound of that. Like, it's like, B-17 Bomber! It's, everything is like 3-bit. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, wow. Uh, we had that from the time I was a baby. And just, like, the thinking of the sound of it is like, whew. I've been thinking a lot about the 80s lately. I'm playing a lot of 80s music. And I, I don't know why. I'm also kind of embarrassed now that I have a. I know that someone watches do what? Oh, the the streaming. If I can get my hands on. I know there's online. There used to be a couple of them. There, there. Yeah. Oh, eighties music, or eighties games. I'm a. I'm gonna do both. But but, one thing at a time. I got ADD like that. So, <laughs> the eighties uh, games. Um, I'm definitely going to try to find a place. There used to be something called like, I think it was like Vintage Arcade or something like that, where you could play um, Amiga games like Bane of the Cosmic Forge, Chamber of the Sign Mutant Priestess, uh, Dune, Lemmings, all that stuff um, for free. And then it went away. And um, I'm sure there's something out there. I know there's something on Steam, which I don't have because my computer is kind of old I don't want to hurt my baby but <laughs> um hopefully someday soon and as far as the 80s music I was saying I'm kind of embarrassed because I didn't realize that people were actually watching my streams with consistency big country oh I don't remember that one it kind of sounds familiar um okay I'll look into it I think my dad used to play that. Big country. Excuse me. I don't know. I know there was one where it was like Attack of the Killer Ants or something. And it had some really cool music throughout. But it was all kind of like an eerie like Tim Burton movie. It was like a um, RPG with a like a storyline where you'd go. There was a lot of those. You'd have to read like paragraphs and paragraphs of shit. To just like, you know, hit the. They didn't let you skip. <laughs> and so there was a lot of reading involved. So I, I feel like that's that's a good thing for the generation of kids that had to play it. Even, um. Oh, man. Uh, like the, the. What's that one? The Wagon Trail? Oregon Trail. You had a lot of reading there. You died of dysentery. Let's see how this. I 
feel like I feel like that's very similar to what I just heard. I always got dysentery. I don't know. I don't know what it was about me and dysentery. I didn't wash my hands enough. There wasn't any sinks. I just washed my hands in the um, cow piss or whatever. I don't know how you get dysentery, but you know what happened a lot back then that people died from that people don't really talk about is fires. People died in fires all the time and I'm talking like 1930 maybe even 40 and prior there were always fires going on like whole towns burned down in fact the, the city I live in now burnt completely to the ground everything three times between like somewhere in the 1700s and 1930 three times um, because they didn't have the, the fire re retardant stuff, the Chicago fire and just individual house fires and, and going, if you go to places like, um, Des Moines, Iowa or, uh, older parts of San Francisco or even Chicago, like you said, a lot of the houses, older houses are built out of just wood and very old wood. <laughs> And I'm sure some of them had been updated, but now, you know, back then it was just like kindling, basically. And when they started with the electrical shit, too, or, you know, how they kept their houses hot in the wintertime or warm, was like coal fireplaces. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Uh, now we're all, you know, we can be snooty and look back and be like, oh, those idiots. But look at how we handle shit, like COVID, for example. I don't like any of these kicks. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm going to go outside of my comfort zone. I'm going to go to... <sighs> Electronic. Find one what? A kick? I'm working on it, man. Yeah, I'm trying. I can't talk and do anything at the same time. I can, actually. That's a lie. Yeah, I actually was going to... um like wear a different costume every time I stream this month. The month is like almost over, I think, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I hate time. Uh, but it's, uh, yeah, to answer your question, yes, definitely. I love Halloween. Um, I might even do like a three day special series type thing. Um, I didn't, I did a music of the month last month and, um, but I didn't mix it and I didn't put it on Mixcloud because I just wasn't feeling it. Like, I mean, I got so much going on and I've been doing this for like two years and I've been doing it for free and you just get kind of burnt out and I have, have not missed a single month of posting, like, like doing a live mix, mixing it down, mastering it, whatever, and posting it on Mixcloud. I have not missed once. It except for last month because I'm just like you know what screw it I get feedback from people like my friends and stuff be like oh I cut it's like really you're listening oh, you could you know comment like it you know whatever share it send me a tip um even like my parents <laughs> my parents list my mixes you know what I think it is I think it's the snare I don't like that snare Let's try. I'm uh, not uh, sleepy. That's not true. I'm not sleepy. I gotta finish. Yeah, no, check out Mixcloud if you like listening to mixes. Um, or if you just want like an audio only version of my mix that's like better quality audio. Um, definitely check out Mixcloud because I mean it's just all it is is DJs posting their mixes. Um, I've heard I've learned about some really cool talented people on there and the the awesome thing about mixcloud for djs is that there's no um copyright infringement because what they do is they still have an algorithm that detects all the songs what the hell that was something in my eye um so it'll it'll detect what song you're playing but instead of blocking it they actually pay out royalties to the artist or the record company so you you can keep your mixes up like re you know, regardless like as it stands now i don't even post my mixes on youtube anymore because i got my first 
strike and I know how that goes yeah it is interesting it's amazing and it's a UK company that owns Mixcloud it's amazing to me that there isn't an American business or company that does something similar and uh, don't get me started I'll get on a whole big ass tangent about copyright law because that the way it is set up right now I'll just say this it was set up in like the 30s or the 20s and the idea was was good it was back then it was to protect um creative people from getting their their shit stolen basically um which is a good you know morally decent avenue to take uh but it's we don't buy records anymore nobody buys albums you don't go to sam goody and buy a cd or a tape um you don't like nobody hardly even uses samples like they used to when you have all these generated so you can make a sample of your own you don't need you can like get an idea for a sample based on something you heard and like tweak it but you know and the way that people stream music now and stuff i think the whole thing about like trying to um enforce things on people that post things on tiktok or people that stream like me or whatever like if you're even if you're playing a game and you're streaming a game and you have like some kendrick lamar playing in the background you shouldn't get your video taken down because of that if anything if you're popular Someone's going to be like, what's that song? That's a cool song. I want to go, you know, get that on Spotify. I want to go buy that on Apple Music. They're not, it's not like they think that you're, you know, trying to make money based off that song. Like you, you made it. It's really stupid and outdated, but let me stop. Get so peeved. All right, let's get a real snare here. Let's get a real snare. Boy, oh boy. I'm not tired. That's, that's not true. Greedy people gonna greed. I mean, really, like, I've read that the, um, the, these laws don't even benefit the record companies and the artists the way people think they do. It just benefits lawyers. Um, not, and I don't have anything against lawyers. I have several friends that are lawyers. I've worked at law attorney's offices before there's good lawyers out there the thing is that these high-powered corporate lawyers they're all in like look at Donald Trump how many of his friends were high-powered corporate lawyers it's bananas they're like they're all in the same families and shit God, I hate all of this I hate it I hate it all You know, when I did my um, sound trap tutorial, the song I made ended up really good. And I'm not feeling super optimistic about this one. Yeah, I guess. I don't know what it is. It's just not like, it's too slow. And it's just, it's not what I'm looking for. I don't know what I am looking for, but. That's the one I had before. Do, 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 do. Organ life snare. Let's try it. Ugh, sorry. Don't have COVID. Sure, why not? Let's throw it in there. Let's not even think about it. Let's just throw stuff in there. Let's do it. Come on. Get in there. Go. Hurry up. My internet better not be acting a fool. Oh, you stop it. I don't want to upload anything. All right, let's go. Let's see. Sounds like off, off, off kills her something. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I have issues with BandLab when I'm using it. Only when I'm using it on the computer, where um they they don't match the BPM like they're supposed to. And I'm gonna try a different snare one more time. One more time, and then if I don't have good luck, I'm just going with a pre-made beat. I hate to say it. The slicker snare. Boat cutter snare. 
<laughs> Sounds extra good with my congestion. Oh, cut a snail too. No. <laughs> Grit zoo snare. Grit unkempt snare. Uh, Audrey Brew snare. Basic. That's the same thing but quieter. Come on, we need some action here. I ain't doing no more Lex Luger stuff. This shit's too long. That was okay. What was that? No. Eh. Ugh. No, I'm never gonna find it. That's the way it goes. Ugh. God dang it. This... That's busy. Let's go with this one. Yeah, sure. Alright, we got our hats, we got our kicks, we got our snare. And if this doesn't sound good, then we're gonna, just gonna quit. Oh, that sounds real bad. Well, this will be a great opportunity for me to teach you how to use their beat crap making thing. <laughs> Delete all of it. Alright, drum machine. That's what I meant. Beat crap making. Alright, so here, and this is a little time consuming, so I don't think I'm going to use it. I'm going to show you. You got um, a kit here, you can choose from different kits drum kits or drum pads, so like your electronic this is what drum pads mean, let's do Sinister Trap and then it, it comes, you know, pre-filled out with something real basic like and it's really fast sounding because it's 190 BPM but we can fix that right now okay, that was too low let's put about a 90, that's a good hip hop tempo Oh, was that really loud? <laughs> or did you just uh, do some blow? <laughs> Am I allowed to say that on the internet? <laughs> we'll never know. So we don't want to use that garbage because we don't have time for that. So we're going to delete that. We're going to get, get out of here. We're going to get a whole ass beat that we're going to look for in our loops, on our sounds. Let's go to beats. Not looking for individual hip hat snare. Yeah, and, and if Band Lab is watching this, maybe they'll understand that improving their PC or online interface would be worthwhile. Not to get too much into music theory, but they have breaks, they have grooves, and you can kind of look around and see what suits what you're doing. That's kind of funky, I like that. We can add to it to make it like stand out more, but for now that's a good base, base layer. Alright, and then from there, let's see, speaking of bass, not brass, bass, bass, as I like to call it. Alright, looking for a similar BPM, if anything, it's going to be a little higher. Because I don't like the sped up sounding bass on here too much. Grit blur sub? I do want a sub. Ooh. I think, I think I like that one. That was, you never find one I like on the first try. Sure, set it to A minor. I'm gonna have to turn it up though, because the subs can be like really quiet. Alright. I feel like it's not like, you know, lining up 
with the, the BPM or whatever. Like, where are we at here? This is with the cursor right at the fourth, the end of the fourth bar. It just seems like it, it shouldn't be that short. Let me try this. All right, since this one is also 90 BPM, we'll see if it looks different when I put it in here. Look at right at the mark. We'll see if that... Yeah, see, another note to band lab that really fucks people up when you do that, so cut it out. To me, even, it's like still, it still sounds like it's not quite like... Like it should, it should sound more like it's lining up, like the sink's not on or something. All right, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna refresh it. It may delete what I did, but I'm not gonna cry. Maybe doing that will fix the issue it has before, but. Yeah, see, it deleted everything. I don't really care. All that time, just... I'm used to wasting time. Alright, so let's go to Beats. Oh, let me show you something else while we're in here. So they got packs, right? So packs are... Like, packages of loops. Another thing you can do is... Um, you could do like a... I don't know if you can do that on here. I think you can only do that on mobile. Never mind. On mobile, it's like um, it's like a drum pad with with sounds from different producers. It's different. Yeah, Cakewalk is made as is actually BandLab. Yeah, and Cakewalk I think is only for PC, so I haven't used it because all I have is Apple shit for some reason. But um, yeah. So, hear me. Like here, they have Dusty Fingers two and one. As a producer, produ producer, a Brooklyn producer. No, the, they still have Band Lab, and and it's I guess very similar. I mean, not Band Lab. They still have Cakewalk, and I think they started Band Lab from it because they wanted it to be free and accessible to everybody, and tried to make it easier to use. Um, but from what I understand, there's not a whole lot of difference between Band Lab and Cakewalk, so. I would love to try Cakewalk just to, to see what it's like. Um, I got tried to get my daughter to try it because I got her one of those Akai or whatever keyboards for Christmas last year, but she didn't like it, so I don't know. Let's try Dusty Fingers number two. Excuse me. All right, so these are all the samples for this one. Let's put in the blast. Got a full beat here that I can use. I know you do. No, oh, he's got it all separated by kicks and whatnot. Alright, let's just do all the kicks that have the same name. And snare and you know what I'm saying. Yeah, F minor, cool. That's fine. Ah, <sighs> okay. Kick. We got a rosebud. Hi hat closed. And we got a rosebud snare. And it's not, you can't, as you can see, it's not even showing up because it's some kind of problem on Band Lab's end, I guess. Um, don't love it. <laughs> that's what, that's the kind of hi hat I'm talking about with this shit. Like, it's like, no, it, it sounds like someone just like, Someone with, with manic schizophrenic mania just like typing a single key on a keyboard over and over. Let's try the open hats. See if that's any better. Womp bop a loo bump a womp bump bump. That's fine. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just real jaded now at this point with you band lab. 
Because it's sad because uh, I had such success with Soundtrap when I was making a beat live. Whatever. Alright, so we got an, um, I'm not going to use the bass that comes with it. I'm not going to be that uh, homogenous, I guess. Um, let's go to Trap Soul and see if we can find some bass there. This is another pack, by the way. Alright. That's kind of sloppy. I was like, what are you doing? Maybe. No. Lo fi. Sure, let's do that one. Okay. Turn some of this down. What? You need to stop. I feel like we're missing a percussive element in here. Turn the bass up a little bit. Alright. Uh, oh. Alright. It says it's a minor key, but it really sounds like a major key. It's got like that little hint of optimism at the end. Alright. Let's get out of here these packs here. The loops. What is this mailing pad? When they add new stuff and you're just like in the loops, at the very beginning is where they'll add them. So when you when you go to loops and don't put anything in here like the instrument or the genre, the most recent thing they've added will show up at the top. So I like to check that out sometimes. Oh, uh, let's see, we got some drum loops. Maybe we could throw that in there. Oh, that's some kind of EDM that's going to be too hectic for what we're doing. Underwater, eight bars. Ooh. This would be some pads, some, like, some fluffy stuff. To... I kind of like that. Okay, it's going to transpose the key. It's supposed to. Come on now. There we go. Can it loop that by dragging it over my little loop button. Now, see here I'm afraid it did it again. What the heck? What the hecking frick? And it, I can't see what it's doing because it's like not there it goes okay so I'm not really sure why it disappears when I <laughs> yo uh... all right you know what I'm gonna give her a rest with with band lab for tonight because their their whole thing is acting a fool and that really is a shame because this band lab is a really cool DAW. It's a powerful tool to make um beats to, you know, master songs, whatever. I will say this, like I said before, their um interfaces are different, mobile versus online. And I think the mobile app and what you're going to get with that is a lot, you could be a, a lot more quick with, with putting stuff together than what you've seen here, despite my talking and getting distracted and all that. I think a lot of the delay here is because the difficulty trying to put it together online. So sad to say, but um, as much as I love BandLab, I think I love it more mobile and you will probably will too. Not to say that you couldn't check out their online thing. 
One thing I actually, now that I think about it, that I do, which I didn't even realize before, is I do a lot of stuff on mobile, save it, and then look at it online on, on my computer to just, like, in some ways it's easier to, like, piece together um, once it's done, but putting it together, that's my overall review, is bad, bad news. So, that's band lab for you. It doesn't look like there will be a hit song coming out of this evening, but we can try again some other time. Maybe um, on mobile. Um, I'm thinking about maybe doing that now. So not tonight, but sometime soon. So I have a sense of closure with all this. And if you've been listening to the chat or looking at it, um, there will be Halloween right on. <laughs> yeah. As I'm, I'm tired now, and I think it just hit me. I'm like running out of juice, so. There will be a Halloween stream that I'm doing coming up. There will be costumes. There will be candy. There will be spooky ghosts and pumpkins and all that stuff and some music as well. So if you go to my Twitch channel or DLive or, um, heck, if you go to Facebook, you can catch me on there doing the thing. And I'm going to say it's going to be the three days leading up to Halloween or three, two days leading up to Halloween and Halloween in the evenings. It'll be after 11. Um, I don't have a specific time because I do have a day jobs more than one and I do have kids and I am old. So it's, it's just shit happens. Like I hate to say like, Hey, tune in at 11 and I'll be there. Cause, ah! I could be like one of these assholes that puts up like a little screen that says be right back, but I'm not going to do that to you. So just pop in and, or, you know, subscribe to me and then you'll get an alert when I come live. Um, better yet still go check out my Mixcloud, mixcloud.com slash Troy the show. And yeah, you can support me via Patreon, patreon.com slash Troy the show. Everything's Troy the show. Um, I also have merch. That you can get via there and on teespring.com slash Troy the Show. So be a doll and check that out. And um, for more reviews on stuff and band lab, soundtrack, how to's, go to my YouTube channel. Don't have a YouTube channel name yet because I'm not that official, but I will be with your help. So good, good, good making music with y'all. And I'll talk to y'all next time.